It is the Savage Nation. So let's begin with this. A man goes in a restaurant today, and a guy says to him, what's the difference between Romney supporters and Obama supporters? I said, what, do I a hundred different differences? No. He's, there's one difference between Romney supporters and Obama supporters. I said, what is it? He said, Romney supporters sign the check on the front. Obama supporters sign the check on the, on the back. It took me a f- uh, five seconds to start laughing. It's very funny. I never heard that one, did you? But, you know, that about summarizes it all. Of course, there are many other differences. Uh, we can go down the list. But that's one you could tell all of your friends. Because I don't know a definition that's as clear as that one. We have ex-Navy SEALs who are so pissed off at this traitor in the White House. Yes, I use the word. Yes, I use the word clearly. This man is a traitor to American values. As far as I can tell, we have the first communist president in American history. Of course, what do you expect him to wear, a Che Guevara outfit? Do you expect the man to put on a red beret and wave a red flag? Are you people that naive? Any European, any ex-Soviet will tell you we have a communist in the White House. But the Americans are so naive that they don't even know what they see when they see it. I'll give you an example. We hear about how good he is for the environment and how good he is for uh, uh, green things and solar companies and things of that nature. Just as in the Soviet Union, gigantic projects were designed specifically to advance the pocketbooks of the bureaucrats within the Politburo. No one really made any, there were no jobs created and no money. So you say, what do you know about Solyndra? That's old news, is it? How about this one? Did you ever hear of the Tonopah Solar Company in Harry Reid's Nevada? Did you know that back in March, the Tonopah Solar Company in Harry Reid's Nevada got a $737 million loan from Obama's corrupt de- Department of Energy? Do you know this project will produce a 110 megawatt power system and employ a total of 45 workers? $737 million. That works out to $16 million per job under the communist president. But that's only the beginning of the scandal. One of the investment partners in this scam is Pacific Corporate Group, PCG. The PCG executive director is Ron Pelosi, who is the brother to Nancy's husband. Just move along, folks. Just move along, folks, and talk about the president's dog and how good he is for America and how he's our first uh, person who's not a white president. Every American should know how their money is being stolen. This was sent to someone I know on the email chain. It's going around America. Nobody can believe that such such naked corruption is occurring and not even being mentioned uh, by Romney. So I'll tell you silly jokes, such as what's the difference between Romney supporters and Obama supporters. That's something even a Democrat can laugh at. Romney supporters sign the check on the front. Obama supporters sign the check on the back.